What is up guys, C-Money here, welcome back to another pack opening episode today. As promised, we finally have our entire booster box of Sword and Shield. 36 packs are going down on this episode, all, every single pack, every single booster. Uh, hopefully pulling that gold Zacian or Zamazenta card that we are uh, desperately looking for. We'd love a Hyper Rare Marnie, um, Golden Quick Ball, the Secret Rare Quick, quick Ball. There's so many cool stuff you can get in this set. Uh, I actually got two booster boxes in today. So as promised, we're going to open up the entire booster box today of this first one. And then I actually have a ton of Hidden Fates left over still. And uh, that entire other booster box. So we're going to kind of mix and match um some hidden fates and some sword and shield stuff maybe some other stuff in there uh so lots of cool stuff coming your way lots of packs lots of stuff to get into so uh without further ado today though we are getting into a entire box of sword and shield so let's uh go ahead and bust the packaging on this bad boy uh i've been looking forward to this opening i've only o ever done one other booster box opening on my channel and uh, that was the Cosmic Eclipse box that I got after the Dallas Regionals. Gosh, this is super hard to pull all the plastic off, but here we go. Um, I think the proper way to do this is just like this, so it looks kind of like this. Um, so I'm going to actually set this up here, probably. Um, so you can kind of, actually, you know, let's just pull the packs out. We're opening up the whole thing. Uh, the box is cool and all, but uh, we're going to open them up. Anyway, so uh, I'll actually probably save that box. So yeah, 36 packs, man, without wasting any time. Let's get into it. Let's try to push these up here a little bit more. Uh, expecting big things out of these two boxes. Uh, it said lots of stuff you can pull kind of from the set that I'm really excited about. As always, if you want the codes, I always give the codes away, so... There you go. You will always, oh, I'm sitting here turning over the cards. Uh, you always get the codes here if you are into that thing, so... Uh, be sure to stop by and grab those. Uh, I would love for you guys to go ahead and take a second as we get into this first pack and smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, Reverse Hollow Durant, and a Drampa or uh, the first two cards. Uh, smash that like button if you can. That'd be awesome. Subscribe if you're new. I'm doing a lot of openings Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday is the current upload schedule. We do throw bonus videos here and there. You actually probably will have a bonus video this week of uh, me opening up uh, some cards with my fiance. I did that before, and it's actually a video that a lot of people enjoyed. Uh, so we are going to do that again. I actually already recorded that, and we definitely did redeem ourselves. Uh, but that video will go up at some point this week as a bonus video versus Holly Amber and a holographic Rillaboom with that beautiful new hollow foil pattern that we are uh, getting used to and stuff with these new cards. I really like the new hollow foil pattern. Um, I love the new textures in the cards. Like there's lots of uh, lots of love for the texture in the gold cards. Um, hyper rare trainers are super cool or sorry a uh, rainbow rare or whatever you want to call them uh hyper rare trainers the rainbow texture looks incredible we have not pulled a rainbow card yet so that would be super fun to do um oh i haven't seen that card yet that's a cool pikachu reverse hollow switch and a stone journer is the rare so nothing really going out of these first uh three packs or so here that's okay. There are lots and lots and lots of bags to get through. Uh, we are going to be going through a whole lot. I'll probably flying through these because, I mean, uh, these booster box uh, openings can get really lengthy if you're not careful. Uh, so I will try to keep this quick and go through um, the packs fairly quickly for you guys. But uh, I hope you're enjoying it. We're not going to go too fast to make it to where you can't, like, enjoy the cards and stuff. Uh, but I will probably go a little bit quicker than my usual rate. Um, so hopefully we can get something awesome out of this first box. Like I said, I've been really excited to do this box for a while. Um, I've waited a while to get it. I said, well, it's not too long. This came out Friday. Um, I'm getting this on Monday. This is being recorded the same day it's going up. That's why this recording is a little late. I usually open around or post around 1030 Central, 1130 um, reverse Hall and Teleon, and a Morpeko V, our first V card of the opening. I love Morpeko, he's super cool. Uh, that has a super cool V card, and we did get a Reverse Hollow and Teleon as well. So that is our first hit of uh, 
the Sword and Shield booster box opening is a more Peko V. So a very cool card. Go ahead and sleeve that bad boy up. So uh, yeah, that's our first like hit of the box, which is super exciting. Um, but yeah, I usually upload at 10.30 Central, 11.30 Eastern. But uh, I was waiting today. I was waiting on this box to get delivered. I knew uh, both of my boxes were out for delivery today. I did get them from Troll and Toad. I buy a lot of stuff from them. And they're usually good to me. It's just they could not ship the box until the set actually released. So uh, until it released on Friday. So uh, they were able to finally ship it on Friday. And they did priority shipping. And it uh, so it got here today. Drapion is the rare for that one. Uh so I did have to wait a couple days. We did do a couple elite trainer boxes over the weekend. So if you did not see those, I would love for you to go check those out. They were uh, really fun. I've never done elite trainer boxes on my channel. So uh, it was a fun new thing for me uh, to get to do with you guys. I really enjoyed it. I have opened up elite trainer boxes like in the past just on my own. Uh, but not on the channel. So that was a lot of fun getting to do that with these new cards. Pow Pad and another Stone Durner. Uh, we have not had a ton of luck so far out of this box. Um, it's been nothing crazy yet. Um, been a whole lot of green code cards over here. Uh, we do have the more Peko V, a couple reverse holo rares, and one holo rare, I think. I think we literally have two hits out of uh, this box so far. So uh, hopefully our luck will turn around. Mudsdale and uh, Morpeko, speaking of. So reverse holo rare and a rare. Uh, Non-holographic, though. Um, yeah, we're, I mean, this is a booster box, so, I mean, you're, you're going to go through little spurts of boxes. That's usually how it works. Um, then it does eventually kind of turn around. So booster boxes, usually you get like six, seven hits or so. Usually out of a box. That's typically kind of the rate. Um, so hopefully we'll get something awesome out of this. What do you know? Oh my god, a secret rare air balloon! We pulled go. Look at that! Look at the texture on that bad boy! Holy crap, right as I was saying, the luck will turn around. Look at that! Holy crap, man! Look at the texture on these gold cards! I haven't seen it in person. I know the video, I can tell you right now, does not do it justice because I'm looking at it kind of on my screen right now and in person. Man, that thing is awesome. So we pulled gold in our uh, first booster box, man. Look at that. Right as I'm saying, man, our luck has to turn around at some point. Holy crap. Let's sleeve that up. That thing is awesome. I don't know the value off my head, but I'm sure it flashed on the screen for you guys. Holy crap, that is awesome. Uh, that is the best pull I've had by a mile so far out of Sword and Shield. My first secret rare. So uh, that is so cool. Uh, hit the like button for the secret rare, man. Subscribe for the secret rare. That is awesome. That's fun. So, uh... Yeah, that's, I'm kind of like, I was not expecting that. Uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite card, your favorite pull out of Sword and Shield is. So far, Adele Mai's V, the luck has turned around. Just like that, we have turned our luck around with a secret rare and an ultra rare Adele Mai's V, one that I have not pulled yet. Uh, so that's super exciting. Uh, man, all right. So the hits are, hits are flowing a little bit now. Hits are good. But uh, let me know what your favorite pool so far out of so far out of Sword and Shield is in the comments below. Mine is definitely that Secret Rare Air Balloon so far because that is by far the best card I've gotten. Uh, I do have a V Max Morpeko Full Art card that was uh, really fun to pull. We pulled that in the first ever opening. Uh, we pulled a Full Art Professor's Research that was cool. Um, but yeah, definitely that Air Balloon for me this far. Um, so I really, I mean, obviously everyone wants it. I love the Zacian gold card. Um, love it. Like, I really like Zacian. A lot of people weren't a big fan of the legendaries in Sword and Shield. Um, I really, really like Zacian. I love the Doggo with the sword. Zamazenta is cool too. But I really like Zacian. Um, so obviously it's the most rare card in the set, so it's kind of the easy answer. 
but I would absolutely love to pull a Zacian gold card. Um, that would be absolutely phenomenal. It'd be a really cool one to pull. But man, that air balloon, that's, that's exciting. Uh, I haven't pulled gold on the channel in a while, so man, that texture. I wish the video would do it justice. Uh, I am working on upgrading my camera setup for uh, the cards. I would like to upgrade both cameras at once, but it's pricey to upgrade cameras, man. Um, so I am working on uh, upgrading the camera setup at least a little bit to try to get a little higher quality out of my pack cam for you guys to do... Uh, some of these cards a little better justice. I'm not like, this is a webcam I use right now and I'm not super happy with the quality. It looks fine for what it is. And it doesn't look bad by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but the colors and stuff aren't always right. They shift a little bit every now and then. So I would love to uh, upgrade my uh, pack cam a little bit for you guys. So I am working on that and kind of in the process of getting that together and finding the best option for my setup that's the thing, it's not just about finding the best option, because you can go buy, spend a lot of money, and there's so many options. It's also about finding the right option to fit my setup here. I am a little crowded on my desk. Not terrible, but a little. Um, so I'd like to, uh, so I would like to find something that mounts easily that I can kind of pull down, kind of like I have now. Um for this so uh we'll see i'm gonna look into that and hopefully get that going for you guys soon that is the goal um so we'll see well uh, if you have any options or suggestions on a camera to replace for my pack cam let me know in the comments below if you are a streamer or a photographer or anything let me know what uh your suggestion would be to upgrade my pack cam to so I'm not like super happy with either of my cameras. I'd like to upgrade them both. Uh, holographic Inteleon. That's a very cool holographic card. So I would like to upgrade them both, but uh, I'm going to have to do them a little separately, kind of. I mean, because it, it gets pricey to upgrade cameras. So uh, we will see. But let me know if you have any suggestions for that. Um, I've been trying to look. I actually have access to a GoPro Hero 7 Black, um, like the one that can shoot 4K. Um, that I can probably get in here. Um, I don't know if it's going to be too much of an upgrade in kind of the low light situation that you have with streaming and videos. Um, so I don't know if that's going to be worth it, like, or a solid option at, at all. So it is just a GoPro. So I don't know if that's going to be worth the uh, kind of headache of getting that set up. But that is an option I have available to me that I could pursue. So I need to do some research on that. Maybe I just need to get in here and try it out for a video or two. And uh, see what the quality is, but like I said, it is just a GoPro, so that's nothing. So ideally, I think you want like a DSLR, but uh, we'll see. I might give that a try. One of these cards is upside down. Yeah, the energy. Like, hold on. Oh, the whole pack's upside down. I'm an idiot. Okay, <laughs> I'm just an idiot. No worries. No one saw that. Don't worry about it. I am just an idiot. Uh, Sizzlepeed Silicobra Zacian V. I have not pulled the Zacian. I have pulled the Zamazenta V. I have not pulled this one yet. That is a beautiful ultra rare. Such a cool ultra rare. I would love to pull this in gold fashion. Um, my sleeves are like buried over here. Like my sleeves over here. Uh, so what a cool ultra rare card. That looks awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's a very cool card. I would love to pull you in gold form, sir. So uh, we've got, this box has been good to us, man. We've got a lot to go. I think we're about halfway through, maybe a little over halfway through, but this box has been really good to us so far with the gold. We've gotten quite a few ultra rares. Um, so yeah, hopefully new camera coming for you guys. We've got lots of videos, man. I've got so many cards waiting to be open now i've got an entire booster box of sword and shield like i said i've got a ton of hidden fates uh waiting to still be opened uh hunter i haven't seen that card yet and a torkoal v full art check that out man uh, this is uh may be my first like full art v card i'm pretty sure it is my first full art v card so uh does like check out the like hollow in like the lines of his shell that's sweet so what a cool card that is 
So uh, this box has been very good to us so far. It does have a little bit of a texture feel to it. Um, so yeah, that's super cool. Big fan of that. Uh, but yeah, I've got a lot of Hidden Fates still. Um, a lot of stores restocked on Hidden Fates recently, which wasn't the case. I was telling y'all to go out and buy Hidden Fates because it was looking like... Hidden Fates was really hard to find there for a while, but a lot of Targets and Walmarts recently restocked, I found out. Uh, so, uh, it is available again. So, I have a lot of that kind of waiting in the wings, because uh, I, I said, I'm still on a mission to pull that shiny Charizard. That is why I got back into opening packs initially, and that was the first goal for this channel. And we haven't hit it yet. So, I would love to... Uh, finish off that goal for you guys on the channel and pull that Charizard. So we've got a lot of, uh, we got a lot of hidden fates in the wings. We have an entire booster box of this left. So, uh, we're going to, we got a lot of openings for you guys ready to go. Uh, a lot of videos, a lot of fun videos coming your way that I'm excited for. We'll experience sword and shield together. Uh, holographic bolt on. That's a cool card. I don't think I pulled that one yet. And a reverse hollow double. Um, so we'll experience Sword and Shield together. We'll hopefully pull that Charizard together soon, man. Like that's, that Charizard's been giving me, it's been playing hide and seek from me. It's been very hard for me to pull. Uh, I love Hidden Fate so much, but man, do I want to just, I would feel so much satisfaction and a sense of accomplishing something if I could pull that shiny Charizard. So that's what we're, uh, still going for. Um... While we experience Sword and Shield, we're going to be on a hunt for uh, so the Gold Zacian, Golden Zamazenta, as well as still that Shiny Charizard. So we've got kind of two two Golds going right now. Uh, the rarest card in Sword and Shield and the rarest card in Hidden Fates. So we're just going to tackle them both at once. Let's kill two birds with one stone. And as I said, you'll see a bunch of uh, videos with that kind of going on. Uh, I have one, I'm looking over at my stack right now, I actually have a bunch of cards kind of like chilling over there. Holy Stone Journer V Max Hyper Rare, my first Hyper Rare in Sword and Shield. Look at that, man. Uh, look at the texture, the like glitter texture on the Hyper Rares. This has been such a good box. Holy crap. Check out the back. That is incredible. It looks in really good shape too. That is our first hyper rare of Sword and Shield, and that is a beauty. Uh, so, man, this box, man, we have a secret rare air balloon, a full art Torkoal V, and now a hyper rare Stone Journer V Max card. What a good box, man. What a good box. And we're still not done. We've got a lot of packs left. Like, I'll kind of show you guys. Like, we've got a decent chunk of packs left still to go. And uh, this box has been absolutely incredible. I'm going to go over and look at the hits here after this pack. We can do like a quick little recap as we're on this last little kind of home stretch with this one. But uh, yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> this box is awesome. Uh, again, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new uh, for all the Sword and Shield content, the Hidden Fates, just all the pack opening content. Uh here i haven't gotten too much into vintage stuff yet but hopefully that will be in the cards one day and we get a stone journal after that um so i would love for you to subscribe if you're new and join on this journey of uh just opening these packs man i'm having a ton of fun i hope you guys are too and i'd love for you to join our little community we've got going here uh yeah, man this is a fun box i'm really excited about this one. Oh, i said hold on hold on uh, I said we'd go over the hits after that pack, and we did not. All right. So we have our uh, Hyper Rare, Rainbow Rare, Stone Journer, VMAX. Let me go and grab the Air Balloon. We have our uh, Secret Rare, Golden, Glittery, and All Its Glory Air Balloon. We have our Full Art, Torkoal V, Zacian V, Ultra Rare, Marpeko V, Ultra Rare, and Adelmai. So one, two, three, four, five, six uh, hits that are Ultra Rare better. We have had several, like, Hollow Rares. But so far, we have six hits that are ultra rare or better. I have a pack waiting to go right here as I sit here and show y'all. Okay, let's just kind of go through this one. I kind of just butchered this one. So uh, here are is this pack. I kind of butchered that pack all together. So uh, there we go. I knew, I figured there wasn't anything in it because I saw the green card. Um, so uh, I butchered that one. 
but that is okay. So we still got a handful of packs to go to uh, hopefully pull that golden Zacian V. Uh, I'm not going to lie, the odds are pretty low to do it after all the hits we've had. Uh, typically, you're not going to get two gold cards out of a box, a Versa Hollow Rare, Rapidash, and a Thievul. So typically, you're not going to get two gold cards out of a box, but uh, I have seen it before. I have seen people pull two, not necessarily Sword and Shield, but I have seen people pull two gold cards out of a box on the internet before on YouTube. I am running out of room with all this, uh, all these packs and stuff. Like, I need to put a big trash can next to my desk. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Uh, so we are kind of on the home stretch here with these packs. Um, but uh, this has been nothing short of a fantastic opening up to this point. As we're kind of nearing the end here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I know I greatly have lots of cool cards, man. Uh, I really enjoy this set. I'm, I really like Sword and Shield. I love a lot of the new cards. Love the textures. Love the Zazi and Zamazenta cards. I am so excited for future sets. Um, VMAX Rising is the next one that already came out in Japan. I'm not going to lie. I'm not crazy. Just I haven't seen all the cards. But reading the card list, I'm not absolutely crazy about the card list uh, for VMAX Rising. I'm sure once I see them, I will change my mind and get really excited. I'm sure it'll come out. Usually it's like a three-month cycle, right? Like I think it's every just about every three months you get a new set. Um... So, just looking at the card list from the Japanese set, I'm not, like, insanely crazy about the card list, but hopefully it'll be awesome. And said, I am anxiously awaiting the set where we are chasing down the VMAX Hyper Rare Charizard. That is uh, inevitably going to come soon. Uh, I believe it was the third set that came out last time, Holographic Obstagoon. Uh, we got Burning Shadows. I know it was base set, then it was Guardians Rising. Then I think it was Burning Shadows where we saw our first Charizard uh, with the Sun and Moon cards. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Burning Shadows was the third set. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was like the third set again. They give us a hyper rare Charizard to chase. Um, there's no way they're not going to. They were released in the game, this incredible Gigantamax Charizard um, that everyone, a lot of people liked, and uh, it's a Charizard card, so their chance to do that. So there's no way they aren't going to release uh, that card for us to chase after. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was the third set. Sable IV, we get another ultra rare hit here. Uh, I don't think I've pulled this one yet either. So we pull another ultra rare, another V card looking awesome. That is a super cool card, man. The artwork on these are sick. I'm that's why I'm so excited for future sets because the artwork in this is just great. Like all the new cards look phenomenal. I think they did a really, really good job with them. So uh, I'm really excited for that. And I hope you guys are too. Um, said so just we got so much stuff. I can't wait. I want to find like a hyper rare Dragapult eventually. Um, I love Dragapult. I think there is a Dragapult like kind of base card in the next set. Um, I do remember seeing that on the uh, card list when I looked. But I don't think it wasn't like a V card or anything like that. So uh, we will probably eventually be getting a V or V Max. Uh, probably V Max Dragapult though. And uh, Dragapult is my favorite card. Well, I'm sure we'll get a VMAX Toxtricity. Um, another fan favorite. Um, they're usually pretty good about releasing those type of cards that a lot of people like. Uh, Holographic Rhyperior. I think I have pulled this one already. Uh, we're down to the last four packs, guys. We're getting close here to the end. That's probably good because I'm out of room for bulk. I've got so much bulk on my desk. I'm trying to straighten these up a little. Um, so we're down to like four packs now. So uh, hopefully we can get some last pack magic. If not, this has been a fantastic opening as I'm about to just drop this entire pack everywhere. Um, hopefully we can get some uh, end of the opening magic here though and get something else awesome. But if not, this opening has been absolutely phenomenal. There's absolutely nothing to complain about at all. Uh, with the cards that we have gotten. And a Lapras V, so we do get another hit out of that. Uh, we did get a Reverse Hollow Rare with that Raichu as well. But we get a Lapras V. Um, 
as another hit, another ultra rare. Um, man, we've gotten a lot of hits out of this so far. Whole lot of hits. Three packs left. Um, and we'll kind of go over all the hits before we end today. So get excited, guys. We've got a ton of uh, openings coming for you guys. We've got a ton of cool stuff coming. Hopefully, we oh, crap. All right, we're just going to kind of go through this one. I butchered this pretty hard. I, like, dropped the cards and caught them. I did see the green card. What was the rare? Is this knocked out? Okay. <laughs> Two packs left. Sorry, I butchered one of the last packs. Uh, I'm excited, man. Uh, hopefully, we'll be pulling that shiny Charizard together. Um, we do have a white code on uh, one of our last packs here, which just surprised me a little. We've had a lot of hits. Can we get one more crazy ultra rare or better hit? out of this box it's very unlikely but i mean we got a white card here so maybe shelter crow gunk so cobra joltik and a lapras v max we pull another massive hit what is this lapras v max i believe that's full art we get the v max card of the lapras what is this opening man what is this box this is the box that keeps on giving I didn't think there was any way we were going to get another hit out of this because we've gotten so many. Um, so we pulled the Lapras V and the Lapras V Max back to back here. Oh, man. One pack left. Can we get some last pack magic? I highly doubt it. Like, it's very, very, very unlikely at this point because this we've gotten so many hits out of this box. But, uh, man, what an opening. What an opening, man. We got Salazzle, a as I'm about to drop the cards again, Bishop, Krabby, Mancino, Galarian, Ponyta, Cottony, Score Bunny, Krogunk, Drampa, the Grandpa. Wait, oh, did I miss the? Oh, Krogunk was the Reverse Hollow. I didn't. I couldn't even tell. And a Drampa is the last card. So let's go over the hits though. Like, this is a crazy box. Um, so we got the Lapras V Max, the Lapras V, the Gold Air Balloon. The Hyper Rare Stone Journer V Max, Torkoal V Full Art, Zacian V, Morpeko V, Delmize V, and Sable IV. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a nine hit box. That is unheard of, man. Nine freaking hits on this one. So uh super exciting. Where's my full art? There it is. Uh so what a super fun opening. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I did. So, uh, man, hit that like button for the opening because this was fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I loved it. I had a ton of fun. I'm really enjoying this set. Uh, we still got to pull those other two gold cards. We have a whole other box, though, that we're going to get into with some Hidden Fates mixed in. I have a random Burning Shadows pack. Maybe we'll pull two Charizards in one opening on the next video. Who knows? So, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning into this one. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Man, what a freaking box. What a cool opening. So, uh, anyway, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.